Hey, 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 YouTube, this is she girl, and I am here with um, a product and company review, and this is going to be for Bitch Lap Cosmetics. Um, I just love saying the name. I think that's really, <laughs> really cool that you named your company Bitch Lap Cosmetics. So, okay, I got it out. Whatever it be, let's continue on with the uh, review. Now, I purchased this. I, of course, had a discount code when I purchased it. Um, I heard about uh, Bitch Lap Cosmetics from ebony the peeling queen here on youtube she posted um a picture i believe on facebook of these big daddy lipsticks and it was in the shapes of a man's johnson so i thought that, that was kind of interesting so um i went on to the website i looked at um all the different things that they had i saw that they had pigments and um Mostly in May, June, I tend to restock my makeup kit and I was looking for, you know, things that were reasonably priced that I could use and play around with and then restock my makeup kit with. So, um, I saw some pigments and I went ahead and I purchased a set and then I purchased some lipsticks because bold lips are really in right now and they had some bold lipsticks that I really wanted to try. Um, so... I have one of the lipsticks right now. I'm going to swatch some of them for you. This one is called, um, and I'm going to give you my honest review on them. This is called Fuck Your Ex-Boyfriend. Excuse me. But um, this is a really, really nice pink. This is the one that I have. This is the one that I have been using. Now, um, after I used this about two times, I had to contact the company because something was wrong. Um, and I'm going to show that to you. If you can see the grit and stuff that was you can you can even see one of the little <laughs> like ball it, it felt like I was exfoliating my lips it felt like sand was in it um, and it was like little black specks and I don't think the camera is picking up on that but it had like little black specks in it I looked up the tube the tube looks fine but on the inside of the lipstick it was not so fine um, so immediately I contacted the company and also after looking at what I got I found out that one of the colors was wrong um, the big daddies they at that point they um, they only had numbers on them and it, the numbers kind of corresponded with the picture and I believe I wanted the pink one I think it was number six and I believe they sent me number either like number one or number five which is a browner tone and so I had to contact the company about that um they responded right away I want to say within like four hours they responded they uh re apologized and they said that they will go ahead and send me out what I'm supposed to be getting so hey I was fine with that so um, they just made a mistake or what have you and they corrected it and they fixed it and I really really appreciate it so thank you so much um, but whatever the case may be um, this is fuck your ex-boyfriend I have it on now and it is a really pretty pink that has like a purple blue undertone to it so I really like it um I have been using this one because they sent me a replacement but I like it so much I'm still going to use the kind of the gritty one I'm just gonna you know just be mindful you can see where it kind of it looks all scratchy as I'm applying it on it's it's scratching my lips but like not to the point where it's ripping the skin off my lips but yeah I can I have some like ditty baldness on my lips right now and I can just kind of block that off but yeah I'm going to keep using it <laughs> Um, so yeah, another color and the replacement is this one right here. So this is what it, it looks like. This is the used one and then they sent me the new replacement and I didn't see any like balls or, <laughs> or grit or anything in it. So the replacement looked fine to me. So I'm cool with that. Um, the other lipsticks that I got were these three. And I will go ahead and swatch them for you. I really think I think that they're really pretty. This one is called Porn Star. It's like a more of a hot pink color. I'm gonna have my little wipe. Mm, the grit, sorry. <laughs> okay. So this is Porn Star. This is what the tube looks like. 
here it is on my hand and here it is on my lips now keep in mind my complexion it is winter time so I am without sun well, it's not winter it's spring but still I am without sun and this one goes on really really smooth so I really really like this one and this one I can smell something in it it has a sweet candy type smell to it so I really 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 like pop star porn star sorry so yay I really 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 like this one and here it is again um it's like a neon neon hint of red hint of fuchsia um, I don't see any purple undertones or anything in it but I really really like this one and again this one is porn star um I got two other ones uh, I have fallen in love with purple this season and I have also been looking for a really good coral to neutral tone lipstick pink has always been like my absolute favorite so I always get a pink one but I wanted to look for coral this season now this one is called lady is a tramp and this is the one that my mom actually likes on me so the camera is making it really there we go can you see that ah making it really really light let me tone down these lights so here it is now the only I kind of I'm not comfortable with the lips because the, the bullet doesn't sink all the way inside of it so I kind of have to make sure I don't break it off or anything and again this one it has a stick to it I really really like it and if I was to pair it with a liner I would probably pair it with you can do pinks you can do you know neutrals but I, myself personally I would pair it with like a plum liner this is like really jazz it up like a nice purple magenta plum liner mm-hmm I really like this one so this one is lady is a tramp and again smooth and it has that candy scent to it um, and lastly what I have is the purple one and the purple one is called my Puda yeah y'all know what that means <laughs> but this is the purple one it reminds me of oh my goodness it looks like this nail polish so yeah so <laughs> um i don't know I, i'm guessing like a belladonna from occ So this one's really smooth. You can kind of see I have to layer it just a little bit to get the color payoff that I want. But it does go on smooth and I really, really like it. And it has that candy scent to it. And again, this one is my Puda. Okay. I always have to be mindful with the bullet because it doesn't go all the way down. When I put the top on, I don't want it to smash the lipstick. So that's this one. And the two ones that um, the My Big Daddies, no, no children around. This is the My Big Daddies. I'm going to give you a few seconds to get the decision to exit the room. But this is the one that I wanted, the pinky tone one. And this is the one that they sent me originally, a brown tone one. So this one is called Dick. It's brown tone. And yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, once you use it a couple times, you know, it's going to lose its shape and its form. So it won't stay like that forever. And the one that I originally had wanted is called Big Daddies. And it's a pink tone one just this one and I believe that it's number six I'm not gonna use them so 
<laughs> they were, it, it was just a novelty thing for me to have. I just wanted to have it. So, yeah, eventually I will use them, but... Nah. <laughs> now, the lastly, um, the thing that I got was a stack of pigments. Now, I did go onto YouTube. I did read some reviews on how these pigments are not supposed to be used around your eye, that they are just straight micas. Um... I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, I am definitely okay with that. Again, I've been a makeup artist for a long time. I kind of, you know, I would like to say that I know what I'm doing <laughs> when I'm using th this stuff. Um, I layer it. I put it on top of other things. I mix in glitter with it. I make it my own color. Um, I do use them sometimes straight out of the the jar but for the most part I take a little bit out and I mix it with something else and I make it my own color so um I do like this I keep it in my kit um it does go with me on different sets and photo shoots um so I have a red an orange a yellow a green a blue and a purple and I don't see anything that's like wrong with them I know they got like bad reviews and things like that but I've tried pretty much every color the hardest one to work with for me has been the navy one it's kind of like I have to use a wet stiff brush in order for that one to work properly but other than that they're just micas and pigments and I use them by mixing them and I can use them straight on the skin so yeah so far um, I do like my purchase from Bitch Lop Cosmetics. Um, I would probably purchase them from them again. Of course, you know I, I'm gonna always wait for a sale or a discount code or something. That's just how, that's just how I roll. And yeah, I'm cool with it. So I'm happy with my purchase. Definitely purchase from them again. And it's kind of cool just to say bitch slap. So yeah, hopefully this information helps. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.